Welcome to the United States, home of some of the most breathtaking scenery on planet Earth. From the golden coastlines of California to the towering Rocky Mountains of Colorado, anyone with a love for the great outdoors can look forward to an endless supply of exploration. And while some of our national treasures are a little off the beaten path, there are a great many locations which are actually very easy to get to. This is the first episode in a multi-chapter series showcasing America's best wheelchair-accessible landscape photography destinations. So, if you or someone you know is living with a disability, rest assured that America offers a huge variety of opportunities to experience the great outdoors and to photograph some truly stellar destinations. Whether you're sporting a pair of crutches, a prosthetic limb, a wheelchair, a rascal, or whatever you use to get around, this episode will get you started on the path to discovery. First up on the list are three locations here in beautiful Colorado. We'll be exploring the mighty San Juan Mountains, the legendary Maroon Bells, and one of my personal favorites, the Garden of the Gods. And now, let us begin. Before we get started, let's take a moment to clear the air of any myths that may be surrounding the strange and unusual species known as landscape photographer. Many people believe these to be majestic creatures who utilize superhuman strength to storm into the wilderness, scale vast mountains, and capture never-before-seen landscapes. But to be perfectly honest, these attributes could not be farther from the truth. Most landscape photographers are actually lazy, sloth-like creatures who roam the countryside in air-conditioned vehicles, searching for low-hanging fruit while feasting on leftover pizza. Ultimately, the point we're trying to make is that landscape photography is not just reserved for elite athletes. Landscape photography is accessible to everyone. This means that people with disabilities can be very successful at creating stellar images of the world's most beautiful destinations. All you need is a little ambition and a good roadmap to point you in the right direction. And with this, we arrive conveniently at our first wheelchair accessible destination. Welcome to the San Juan Mountains. Situated in western Colorado, these mighty rock giants are part of the greater Rocky Mountains, which span from the central United States up into Canada. Known as the Switzerland of America, these jagged peaks rise above endless aspen forests. The San Juan Mountains are crisscrossed with all kinds of quaint country roads, which offer spectacular views of the local landscapes. One of the best examples of this can be found on the Dallas Divide, where Highway 62 spans between Ridgeway and Placerville. This roadside pull-off offers a very generous parking area with plenty of room for large vehicles to maneuver. And the best part, of course, is the view. Right this way. We have a very large, generous parking area, nice and level, easy to get to. And as we come up to the fence, we are treated to one of the best views in all of Colorado. Look at how beautiful this is. And you can roll right up to this with ease. You've got all the time in the world. Man, oh man, you're not gonna beat that. That's something else. As clouds break over Dallas Peak and Mount Sneffels, this overlook treats photographers to a panoramic chain of snow-capped mountains. This destination is particularly beautiful during fall colors, where miles of bright red scrub oak mix with golden aspen trees as far as the eye can see. You can shoot at sunrise, you can shoot at sunset, you can even shoot in the middle of the day, and the San Juan Mountains will always deliver. Any photographer looking to capture the picturesque vision of the great American West should find this to be the perfect spot to bring home some truly epic images for the portfolio. I have included GPS coordinates of this parking area in the show notes below. It's easy to find, easy to maneuver, and it delivers a hearty buffet of photographic breakfast, lunch, and dinner.
Moving right along, we find ourselves in central Colorado, under the towering peaks of the legendary Maroon Bells. Now, pretty much everyone on the landscape photography scene has marked the Bells as a bucket list destination. These mountains have been photographed a bajillion times by countless photographers from all across the world. So you're not going to win any awards for originality at this location. But that doesn't make it any less spectacular. There's a reason why artists flock to this destination. It offers the ultimate Iron Chef recipe for landscape photography. Situated at the end of Maroon Creek Road, the Bells are just a short drive from the nearby town of Aspen, a place where the beer flows like wine. Driving to this destination requires a park pass, which can be purchased from the ranger station located on Maroon Creek Road. You'll want to make sure you arrive very early in the morning. This is a popular destination, and once the parking lot is full, the only way to access the Maroon Bells is by catching a bus at the visitor center. The bus system is also wheelchair accessible, but it does get a little too crowded. Maroon Creek Road ends in a large paved parking area, which offers plenty of maneuverability for vehicles of all sizes. From the parking area, a flat, wide, compact dirt trail leads a mere 40 yards to the shoreline of Maroon Lake. Now, as long as the area is not covered in deep snow, this trail should be a piece of cake for both manual and electric wheelchairs. This is the optimal location for capturing one of the most stunning scenes in all of America. Snow-capped mountains rise above a brilliant aspen forest, which provides excellent views in both summer and fall. And given the right conditions, the entire scene is reflected perfectly in the clear waters of Maroon Lake. This gives you two landscapes for the price of one and seals the deal on yet another dazzling destination for your photo portfolio. We round out our little Colorado adventure with one of my personal favorites. Garden of the Gods is conveniently located inside the city of Colorado Springs. This park is dominated by its signature red rock towers which rise from the earth like otherworldly crimson stalagmite. Garden of the Gods is a highly accessible destination with several large parking areas and an intricate network of flat, wide, paved trails. Virtually every aspect of this location is easily passable by wheelchair. Welcome to beautiful Colorado Springs. Now, this is where I live, so naturally I come to Garden of the Gods quite often. It's one of my favorite places to shoot and it never lets me down. We're in the main parking lot right now, so let's go have a look around and see what we can find. So as you can see, it's a pretty spectacular sight just right out of the car. But anyway, let's go have a look at the observation deck. Turn this around real quick. So as you can see, the main parking area can accommodate quite a lot of cars. And there's typically plenty of room to maneuver. I personally don't recommend coming on a holiday or a weekend because this place does get very crowded. It's quite a popular park. So early morning on a weekday is going to be one of your best bets. As we transition over to our ample handicap parking spaces, I want to draw our attention to the section here. We have a completely flat transition onto the trail system, which leads us right into the park. The trail is very large, very wide, and it's paved pretty much all the way through, giving you access to some of the greatest views that we have throughout the park. And if we move over here to the left, we can go and see our brand new observation deck. So the city recently built this in the last couple of years, and it's just now kind of come online and it offers some really excellent views just right off of the parking lot. There's a nice wide curving ramp that transitions us up onto the deck. It's easy to get to, it has lots of space and just Look at that view. This brings us right into one of the best views of the entire park. 
Not too bad. As we come by, we've got this beautiful leading line. The path takes us straight into the park. And then we have those amazing red rock towers that this place is so famous for. That is not bad at all. The new Pavilion Overlook is a great place to catch a passing thunderstorm in the evening. And if Lady Luck is on your side, you might even get a little aerial bonus in the sky. Garden of the Gods also features a paved road which encircles the entire perimeter of the park. This road offers excellent views of the towers, and if I'm being perfectly honest, I have definitely captured my all-time best images from the road. Show up in the summertime, and the setting sun may even spark up a nice rainbow. Evenings in Garden of the Gods are a great time to watch Mother Nature send up the fireworks, making this one of the best wheelchair accessible destinations in all of Colorado. When you hit the road as much as I have, it soon becomes clear that the United States offers excellent travel provisions to people with disabilities. From the fast-paced interstate highways to the quaint country back roads, our nation is a vast network of overlooks and vistas which will keep any landscape photographer busy for years on end. The three destinations we visited in this episode represent a mere handful of the fantastic locations that are fully wheelchair accessible. So if you are a person who believes that landscape photography is beyond your reach, now might be a good time to reconsider and watch as a whole new world of opportunity opens up. In future episodes, we'll continue our exploration of wheelchair accessible places. It's a great big world out there and much of it is right at your fingertips. All you need is a good roadmap, a little motivation and a splash of adventure. Follow the light and the world is your studio. All right, friends, as always, thank you so much for joining us. If you had fun on our little wheelchair accessible landscape photography adventure today, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we've got a lot of cool new places coming up. This is just the tip of the iceberg. I have placed GPS coordinates for all of our locations today in the show notes below. So go check them out and let me know what you think. In the meantime, stay sharp and always remember, the camera will take you places you never imagined.